Konsolunt. Good afternoon. Ah, this is Dr. Kunle Adebanjo. I will be facilitating you on the course GST 107. That's the course codes. And the course title is Distance Learning and Study Guide for the Distance Learners. Uh, you will see that uh, in learning experience you that you have experienced in in the past there is no so, the learning of such are not the way you are seeing it now but when we now look at what is open and distance learning the generation we are now did not experience what we call open and distance learning. But now that you have come into National Open University and you are now enjoying the ability to work and then at the same time receiving uh, learning is a privilege which I've been enjoying in the past. Some people have been using it to say, okay, they, uh, it's a correspondence, is this? That is their own view. But as far as this National Open University is concerned, National Open University is operating on single mode of instruction and it's a distance learning in the sense that learning is being separated from the students and the teacher and uh, the students are not seeing the teacher. But now that you have seen me physically, as make the content, the, the mode of instruction change, that we are now in a real classroom situation, but by technology. And that is why we must, when there was a post, I've seen all of you that have sent, have replied the question that, why is National Open University is, a single mode of uh, uh, is a single mode operation of instructional delivery okay. is because we are not part time, mm -hmm. and then you are different mm -hmm. uh, different learning learners okay. that are having your own time as a conventional students. You are not a part time student. You are a distance learner, but you 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 learn. Just like you, you, are, you are receiving lecture now. You are receiving lecture. The two institutions, like UNILAG, University of Ibadan, IFE, Yola, Abuja, those ones are only receiving lectures when students are on vacation. You can see the difference now. So some of you have really contributed well. I've seen all your response in the mail. So in essence, you can see that the learning situation in conventional university and open university is a little bit different in the sense that students there are not are only learning during vacation. So they have to take excuse duty from work. But in your own case, you don't take any excuse except for the time of examination that when you go pass, they should write exams. So in other words, distance learning is a kind of learning where students are separated by content, by, and, uh, by the, and, and being separate, uh, also separated by the teachers that are teaching them. So they, you, not that you don't have a teacher, but you learn through some uh, uh, so, so, some technological method, just as we are doing now. So, and this kind of learning is what we refer to as synchronous learning because you are listening to me, I'm listening to you. Synchronous, what synchronous, life, synchronous. Synchronous. 
uh, live, and then we are interacting together. So you can ask me questions by team. And I have that I learned that some students are having difficulties in uh, in having a, in getting a, this website. Please go to this website. Yes, you uh, some of uh, for those of you that are logging, fine. Like uh, I can see Tony Raphael, I can see Samuel, I can see many people that have logged in already. So they are all seeing you. Uh, for subsequent ones, for others that are not, or those your friends that you can you can uh, liaise with or get on in touch with that have, uh, are offering this course. Just pick your bio now and write, and I will type on the chat. Go to your chat uh, button of your. Uh, of your system, you will see what I will type there now is where you can log in, but it's better you go to Google Chrome and learn uh, and do it there. It's HTTPS colon slash slash my learning space, my learning space. Dot N O U Edu application and two dot net. So that is the site, and I employ all of you to join us and then uh, contribute as we go on. Yes, back to what we are saying. You, yeah, open and. Uh, <laughs> Open and distance learning is uh, not a correspondence. But in the past, if you look at the present day learning and the whole learning that you, uh, the present day learning and the correspondence learning, people are enjoying Cambridge whereby they will send materials to them and they will have a study center somewhere where all of them will gather and then they will learn and then write their exam via correspondence. But in this case, you will come and sit down and write your exam in your own, on, on your own. So it's not that you have to send your uh, exam and uh, your exam scripts via mail. No, we go to, and that is why we have centers all over the country where all of you can do your listening. And if you look at the most of, mode of instructions here, because of the flexibility and because you people are working and because you want to have, maybe where you are working, you need to upgrade your knowledge, you need to use it to, uh, for advancement, you need it again to make a difference. Or some people are using it as to get out of a, a bondage to say that, okay, let me liberate myself by getting education. So this is, and that is why it, uh, the, the, this planning is necessary for many people. And uh, of course, many people can say, okay, uh, it's a lifelong learning and it's flexible, it's affordable. Is a thing that you can uh, you can easily contribute to us and then come for lectures at when due. And because majorly this was established, uh, this National Open University was established just because many people want to gain admission, many people want to have education, but they don't have access. So for the, you to have accessibility, that is essence of this. Uh, because uh, the of uh, this national uh, national open university of Nigeria in the past it was NOU and later by act of this uh, last year it was now changed to national open university of Nigeria in which the students now can go for service and then have whatever now let us look at tip of uh, characteristics of open and distance learning. Just like we, we said, we said it's separation of teachers and learner. Of course, 
then it's open, it's avoidable, it's technology driven. So you can all, as well interact with your lecturer via technological uh, um, um, modes. Like some of you have sent mails to me, which have, uh, Dr. Kosa have reacted to, and then I've also uh, been able to say, yeah. openness as one, openness as a place. Many people, like I'm reaching you now, you are, you are all over the country, and we can, there is no way we can ask all of you to come back to, without that place being jam-packed with many, uh, uh, in fact, we won't be able to have a breathing space. So when we have all, all the students to come over here and then be learning, is look somehow. So in, in other words, it makes the uh, student to learn at their pace, at their will, at their own uh, specific, uh, at, at, at their own schedule. Just like we say, okay, it's willingness to you. And it's, I, will, I will tag it to be a student-centered education because it is at your own will that you will go. The only thing we can do for you is to facilitate you and then to uh, just as we are doing, in respect of your gender, in respect of no one is to change. Everybody is. And so now let us look at how we can get ourselves uh, into, into learning system. There are many ways in which you can get yourself into this learning system. One, you can choose to see, to, uh, you, can, you, you might choose to choose to, uh, your learning pattern by yourself. Every individual, like me, have what you call photogenic brain. If I want to learn, I'm most present in that class and listening to it. It's now that I'm trying to adjust. So, okay, let me see how I can manage and adjust and learn through this mode. That is writing, speaking, asking questions, and joining groups. It is at the group really enjoy one I really enjoy what we call learning most because most of my most of my learning and most of my succession was through group whereby we we would divide all the topics within ourselves and then we sit down somewhere to say okay let me read this you read that you read that then you come and then give it to us. Unfortunately, I may not even have read those things, but when I come to the class, I listen to what, what they have done and what they are saying, and then contribute effectively. You can as well look at yourself, try and understand yourself, the kind of person you are, and then look at a study skill that will suit you. Are you a kind of person that a good listener, then pick up the video, read or record all what you have been doing, then on, on, uh, listen to radio, uh, the broadcast over and over so that you can get this tip and then jot, jot down some points and then go back to your study, uh, study materials and read through. At the same time, you can you can form a group, just as we are now. We are in a group. We are listening to each other. We can as well. Say, okay, what do we, what do we do? You can send to me. Okay, I have, <coughs> I have this problem of getting this content uh, understanding. Then I will. I or Dr. Okosa will now reply you to say, okay, this is the way to go about it. Just for instance, you, you are not li like uh, when you said 
uh, you don't understand a, a particular thing. What is that particular thing you don't understand? You should also understand yourself to know what you want, to know when to read and what. I want to put it to you that learning is a difficult task. It's a difficult thing to come by. For a person to learn successfully, you must have deny yourself of many things. You have to sacrifice a lot of things to get what you want. Just for instance, you cut some parties, weekends parties, and uh, some even uh, some activities that can make you to join your fellow uh, students to read and understand your reading habits and your way. And then other some people have a good uh, listening skill that they, through that they have a photogenic brain. Everything that was being telling them, they were able to say, "Oh yes," because they pay attention and they were laying emphasis in seeing what the uh, in hearing what the speaker is saying. Also, some people might be taking notes of what he's saying. They are fast in writing. You see, some people are. They, I don't know. They are. Uh, they are so bad. Is, they were fasting in writing. Samuel, you try to get the kind of person you are in, uh, in uh, no. No. your area of uh, can you wear your you life. So that you yourself I can you say, okay, this is me in the real sense of life. I can boast of myself to say, okay, I've seen how to read, I, I can read here, yeah, I can see, uh, I, I can note this, I can note that, I can see, cut some barriers. There are some things that can give you, that can create barrier to you. The physical ones, uh, if probably that student, uh, that person is having an impairment, at least he can watch, he can watch, and then record and then read with a different uh, thing. So there are people who have challenges. There are people who have physiological barrier, psychological barrier, linguistic barrier, and so many things that can cause a barrier to them in, in reading or in learning. What, what of you that doesn't have this impairment? How did you? Go about it. Now, coming back to the question I asked you, that why is National Open University is being regarded as single mode institution? It's a single mode institution because one, it does not operate on uh, on a part time basis. So, and is the only uh, is only mode. Uh, the only way you are receiving lectures is through technology or facilitation, and then your materials are being given. Why others are having what you call dual dual mode? The dual mode is because the regular students are on now. It is when those people are on vacation that they can have room for that uh, this thing. And in your own case. Nothing of such. So you are operating single mode of uh, learning. So your uh, your instruction is basically on single mode learning. So and that is why you you cannot afford to pay. You are a part time student, and that is things that people are looking at before. You see. Now let us have discussion on uh, how you can learn. How can you learn? Anyone? Hope I'm not the only one in, uh, talking. By listening. Yes.
Toin. Okay, Judith, are you saying something? Can you hear me? No, I'm not saying anything. Judith. I'm not saying anything. I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you. I'm, I'm not, not hearing you, Judith. Can you hear me? I'm speaking, but I'm not sure you can hear me. <laughs> What is happening? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Are you hearing? Me? Yeah, I'm hearing you. Are you hearing? Yes, I'm hearing you. Hello. Yes. Hello, sir. Hello, hello. Hello, sir. By listening. Huh? By listening attentively. Okay. Hello. Are Hello, you Judith. Are you on? I've been on things. I don't know Hello. if you can hear me. I'm, I'm hearing you now. Hello. I think I think the network is really bad on Hello, sir. Uh, well, it's not uh, the issue of network will be work on. Dr. Okosa. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, I can see you. Yes. You Are you coming yes. yes. to say something? Excuse me. Can I contribute now? Yes. Really, I'm, uh, yes. Are you talking yes. about learning capabilities of ODA learners? Is that the pose or the question you're asking the students to contribute? You said? The, are you talking about learning characteristics? Yeah. Of all dear learners, is that the question you are asking the students to contribute to? Yes. Okay. If that is the case, let, let me uh, quickly say something there. Are you with me? Are you hearing me, please? Yes. Yeah. What the students should really note, and they have it in their course material. Number one, independence versus collaboration. It's a point they should take note in their course material. You have, they have to be motivated. They have to be adapted to technology. They have to be disciplined. They have to be, they have to be active. They have to be active participant in the learning process. I really realized, and I appreciated you when you were talking about uh, letter centeredness. It's a part of, it's a point they must take to heart. And the two, you, the issue of effective communication is quite important, it's quite vital. I think what we are doing is facilitation. We should give room to students to interact on this uh, uh, module we are discussing. Because they have read this module uh, over and again, and we are here now to learn together, to interact together. Our own is to uh, contribute and uh, maybe moderate, and uh, if there are other points we have, we add it to it. That is my little conclusion for now. As we progress, okay, thank you. Today. Uh, Toy, what do you want to say? Sir, so, I, I wanted to, I don't, I don't know what to say again. You don't know what to say? <laughs> okay. Uh, what, 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 what question do you want to ask? Yeah, and sir, so I need to ask some question. Like, what? It's reading like just reading Hello? our. Uh, we're talking on listening. So I read one part. So I wanted to ask: Does reading improve our critical thinking? Like reading. Yes. And I was yes. going to my material. Hello. When you read, when you read, you know, when you read, you assimilate. Okay, and you sir. reflect on what you have read. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. Do you know that? Uh, reading is uh, is a, uh, is not your friend. Reading, yes, our reading habit is poor, and if you want to make reading really to be your friend, one you need to give it a time. You need to discipline yourself. Just as uh, Doctor uh, Okosa has just said, also you need to visit it often and often. It's just like mathematics. When you are working mathematics, you don't forget it. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. So, when you are reading, 
if you take your book that you want to read, that will be the time your friend will come and say, oh, Chloe, let's go out. I want to see, uh, let's go and see somebody. Somebody you not seen before, oh, you wanted to go. The moment you leave, the book will run away from you. But if you say, oh, okay, let me, um, let me go and read them. Let me go and see. I, I remember something about what I read yesterday. You go back to it. It will, it will enhance your thinking and then it will give you a retentive memory so that you continue to remember what you have learned and it will become part and parcel of you. you know, that's why some people will say, ah, that person is cramming. No, it's not. It's because he has given him, he has devoted time for it sometimes and be, you see when you are going at times, you might remember something. Maybe you are hungry. You just left the food. <coughs> Immediately, you go back and you, you remember, oh, as you are reading, you are jotting down. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. You are taking oh, note of what you are reading so that you don't miss out some words, that, some important key, key words that you need to. Have I answered you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes. If I may come in there to add a list to what you have said. Okay, sir. Huh? If I can make a little point addition to what you have said. Okay. Yeah, I told you. Reading is quite, quite essential. It's an integral part of learning. One thing that is very basic to us as humans, the more we read, the more the information we find template in our brain, in our brain system, it will get cemented. You understand? The more you read, the more you internalize those parts and figure and uh, the ability to recall is uh, enhanced. So reading is one of those skills you are going to study in module two as we progress in this online discussion. Can I contribute something? Oh yeah, yes. Judy, you want to say something? Oh. Yes, I want to emphasize the aspect of the huh? I want to okay. emphasize the aspect of discipline. Uh, when it comes to learning, B. discipline when it comes to learning, yes, um, uh, if like you don't you discipline yourself, example, huh? like you gave the example of when you want to read, that is when your friend will come to say, Let's go, yes. somebody. And that is when you'll be hungry, <laughs> that will be the time. That, is, that that even will be the time that uh, you, uh, you you think uh, you feel slippery. See, like uh, Joseph now. Look at Joseph now. He has started yawning. Uh, <laughs> the best bet is to even go to the library. She can go to the library. Where that does not stop. That, Judy, that, uh, even going to the library does not stop you from sleeping. But uh, the only no, thing no is... But in this case, where you don't have library around you, unless you go to your study center or in your area, except you have library there. If you don't have library, what happens? You can stay in a place where people cannot easily find you. Eh? You can stay in a place where people cannot easily find you. Mm, yes, you can, you can separate. Yes, you can separate yourself, and you can as well have a a, a group discussion with friends that will not disturb you. Yes. People of like uh, and like minds, yeah. the, uh, the people yes. that you can read, um, you read together with. Precisely. Yeah. Hello. Hello, I'm still here. So, are you done? Then you must have a plan. Yes. A plan that you can implement and a plan that you will follow rigidly. You know, I, I, may do, I do mention that uh, you will sacrifice some things, like party. Yeah, not every party you will go to. When school is not essential, you might not, you, you, might, you might go to party. But when schools are, are in section, Anybody that fits this party there, just tell the person, let, let them know that you have some things to do on your Saturdays, majorly. Okay? Yeah, what I do for the time? Eh? 
certain hours of the day. What I do normally, because I walk eight to four. So no, normally what I do is to come early in the morning before work starts and stay later yeah. after, after close of work so that I can have private time to study. That's what I do. That's good. So no, you, you know, I, initially I said you need to understand yourself. You to understand the kind of person you are. You, you know yourself. You know that, yes, you are this type. So how do you get that yourself discipline? It's left for you. From all what you have in your course materials, you can you can pick on them and then see the one that will suit you in order to discipline yourself towards your education. Thank you. Yes, Joseph. I'm not hearing you, Joseph. Hello. 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 Hello, hello, I can hear you. Go on. No, I'm, li I'm listening. I'm hearing you. Hello. 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 Can anybody hear me? Hello. Yeah. Can anybody hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you. Okay. Um, the network is bad. I'm hearing you. Okay. We are together. Okay. I'm Hello, trying to connect. Uh, please, I think. Who is on the line? Is it for you? Your name, please. Hello. Hello. Yes, is that yourself? Okay, to you. Paul. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Sir. Hello. Hello, I can hear you. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Do you know that uh, when you read again, you can increase your level of pronunciation, your vocabulary can, and then you become a confident speaker. You know that? Yes, because sir. from there, you, de you derive some new words and then how to use, how to use them in communication. You'll be able to communicate effectively and you'll be able to sound when you are speaking. So are you still there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. OK. I'm still here. I'm not hearing you again. Uh, good evening. This is Afolabi Shola. OK, Afolabi, how are you? I'm fine, sir. We are, go quickly. We are running out of our time. Okay, sir. But how you know I'm not gonna change? Are you? You said. But that's what. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello, sir. So, sir, I wanted to know what are those um, bad reading habits? Bad reading habits. Bad reading habits. I don't understand it well. I think it's a bit confusing for me. Huh? I said the thing is a bit confusing for me. The book is too, is too what? Confusing. The book? <laughs> what the reading, ab reading habits? And the in a bit. My dad regression, the others. Okay, okay. You see, uh, you must cultivate a good reading habit. And how can you cultivate a good reading habit? Is by just like uh, Judith has contributed. 
that you need to you need to discipline yourself if you want to get a good reading habit you shouldn't just uh, say you want to read for reading sake you must read for a purpose and apart from reading for a purpose uh, you you are reading to achieve certain things and you want to read to get understanding you want to reshape your horizon you want to get things in, uh, you want to get more knowledge because the more you read the more knowledge you gain and when you don't have reading culture it becomes a problem because you just you won't know you won't know what to write it is what you read and what you listen to that you put down if you just say okay can you I, have a can I contribute to that yes uh, yes the student is asking that he read something about bad reading habit and uh, that is confusing. I mentioned the concept of regression. I think that's the first thing he said. What is regression? That is re reading a particular material of front and back instead of progressing. It's a very bad reading habit. Other bad habit is vocalization or sub vocalization. When you are reading, you are supposed to be focused. You are supposed to be focused. But while you are reading a text or any material, and you are reading aloud, if you cannot concentrate, it's a problem. See, reading one word at a time is a bad practice. You should be fluent yes. enough. You have attended primary school, secondary school, you are now a tertiary institution university, and you have your course material, and you are not fluent. You cannot use your eye to follow what you are reading. It's a weakness, it's a bad habit. We need to get that habit out of our, out of our life. Distraction is another big problem, it's a bad habit. You, you must be focused. Be focused. Don't lose concentration. Don't lose attention. Then, for you to do well, you must join in forum discussion. I to help you. Because while you are discussing with your colleagues, you know what is on ground. I also learn from them. That is my also contribution. Also, how to raise a question. Are they, are they? Yes. If I may call me, I think this the, the question came from module two. And that will be next focus by next week. I'm sure we'll be in module two. Look, huh? looking at the study skills. I said the question the student raised came from module two. Okay. Yes. On reading. On reading. On and, reading. Uh, on reading. Yes. yes. I, I know. From reading said, skills. Yeah, they all left all that we were, you, we discussed today with them, the very module one, where we are supposed to have a balance of select parts and the select points with them. But I told them earlier that they should hold on. By next week, we'll be progressing, we'll be moving to module uh, two, the study okay. skill, listening, okay. reading, writing, well, um, and so on. Is it and then we'll uh, have enough time to discuss the issue they are raising now. If, if you are reading without focus, do you know it's a reading habit? If you're reading, you are reading and you don't understand. It's a bad habit. Huh? So you are, it's like somebody who, who is reading just for people to know that uh, you uh, is carrying the books. Yeah. One of my one of one, one of one of my son, you when he see when he see me, he will say yes. That is coming. He's going to carry his book. And you think he's reading? He's not. Because he has not had that uh, reading culture in him to say, okay, I should, I should read all the time. You read to assimilate. You read to get knowledge. You read to improve your, your language skills. And then your reading must have focus. Because if you, you are reading and you don't you don't have focus, then what, what are you reading for? You are just reading for skill uh, for for any for for form. You are not reading really to really get something, and that is why when you are 